All right, so let's look at the, the power rule of log functions. Uh, and that says if I've got a log, some base, of some number raised to some power, that's equivalent to taking that power um, and, and just pulling it out here and saying it's that power multiplied by the log of just, of just x. So um, let me give you a concrete example of this first before we just do these simple um, conversions. So, okay, so back to the definition of a logarithm. 10 squared equals 100, right? So that means log base 10 of 100 equals 2, because 10 to the power of 2 is equal to 100. Okay, so I could do the log uh, uh, base 10, you know, if I don't say the base, that means base 10 of 10,000 is equal to what? Okay, well, uh, well, I'll just write the base so it's easy to keep track of. Um, what do I, so this is asking, what do I have to raise 10 to the power, to what power do I have to raise 10 in order to uh, convert it into 10,000? Well, the answer would be 4, right? Because 10 raised to the power of 4 is 10,000. Uh, or in other words, 10, 10 to the fourth is a 1 with four zeros behind it, you know, which you might remember from scientific notation, little shortcuts. Okay, so log base 10 of 10,000 is 4. Well, I could rewrite 10,000 as um, 100 squared, right? 100 times 100 is 10,000. 100 times 100 is 10,000. So I could do log base 10 of um, what I, oh, 100 squared, that's what I wanted. Um, okay, well, so this rule is saying that this is equil equivalent to saying um, 2 times log base 10 of 100. Well, what's log base 10 of 100? That's 2, right? I have to raise 10 to the power of 2 to get 100. So log base 10 of 100 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay. Just want to show you kind of uh, kind of where this is coming from, so it's not just memorizing the rule. Um, yeah, uh, it has to do with if I this is what it has to do with if I raise ten squared to the power of three. What's the rule? I multiply the exponents. That's equal to uh, ten to the six. That's what this. That's what's happening here. Um, but this is an exponential expression. This is logarithmic. They're inverses of each other. All right, kind of overkill with the explanation, but I, I hope this this rule kind of has concrete meaning now. So let's let's apply it. Let's just translate um, these expressions into something equivalent. And the reason why you'd want to do that is a lot of times it's easier to solve a logarithmic equation. Yeah, when you when you convert it into this form. So the, the, pr the power rule of logs is telling me that this would be equivalent to um, x times log of 100. You know, and again, this is log base 10. Un unless otherwise stated, it's log base 10. Um, x times log of 100. Okay, well, log 100, as we saw, is 2 uh, times x is 2x. So all this is saying is um, 2x. So, a lot simpler, right, to deal with. All right, um, let's try another one. So, the, the power rule is telling me that this expression is equivalent to 2 times log base 10 uh, of 3. All right, now, uh, you know, I could just type, I could take log of, um, you know, log base 10 of 3 on my calculator and then multiply by 2, boom, 0.95 something, right? Um, it goes the other way too, I mean you might have a situation where it's like, uh, you know, 3 times log of a base 4 of um, x. Um, maybe it's easier to call this log base 4 of 
x to the third for some reason. Okay, so it goes both ways, of course, which is what the equal sign is saying. All right, good luck uh, with your your log functions, and I wish you all the best. See ya.